Welcome back to Let's Play Carrion. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I'd like to start the second session of a Let's Play by showing you guys exactly what happens when I load the game, since you can never be certain until you've done it once. But before I do that, I have a correction to issue. I have known the fine gentleman who got me this game for years now, but it seems that this entire time I've been mentally pronouncing his username wrong. Oops. So, my deepest, sincerest apologies, Sagi. I hope you're still enjoying this. Now then, continue. Ah, yes, and I was very, very lost when I left off, wasn't I? So I'll turn off the uh, recording, throw in an elevator cut, and uh, find my way back to where I'm supposed to be. Boosh! Okay, that ought to do it. Full disclosure, it's actually the day after that last sequence. Uh, all I was able to do yesterday was uh, record that intro and then catch up to myself. Uh, full you know, again, full disclosure, I watched a video walkthrough until it caught up to whatever room I happened to leave off in, then I sort of quietly followed along until I got to an area where everything wasn't broken because I assumed that's where I meant to be. <laughs> so, uh, you know, extremely outside chance that, you know, you'll ever see this message, but shout out to Indie James for the helpful video walkthrough. Don't worry, I made sure to stop it the second things got unfamiliar. I was spoiled on nothing. Nobody can go in that pool of water. I'd be absurd. Yeah, here we go, here's a door that you'll notice is completely on its hinges. Er. Hmm. Grabbing stuff when I can't stop is not ideal. There we go. What's in here? Nothing! Oh, all right. Yeah, I noticed these plugs. I can't even grab them. I, you know, I can't like grab them and wiggle them around and it doesn't do anything. No, they just... Nope, you can't have that. Leviathan Reef Base? Okay. Ooh, shiny. Is this? It is. So do I need to be the spider? Okay, let's do a test. Honestly, that wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. Uh, yes. Let's go back up here. Because I noticed it wasn't opening again. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry, I'm new here. What's in this tube down here? Nothing. It faces the other way. Okay, I'm a moron. I was supposed to go that way. Or maybe the panel shuts off the laser somehow. No, I can't grab that. Oh, there's a pipe in there. I see. They wanted me to go in there and make a, a nest. No, it doesn't roar at me until there's uh, something there, I guess. No, there's no fragments in there, is what I'm saying. Huh. But I can't go back, or it will, uh... You go down there. Warning! This facility is protected by the... 
Automated drone defense system? Unauthorized entry is prohibited. Well, I'm not looking forward to meeting robots. I can't eat them. Well, I assume that. I mean, you know, I might be able to, but... Who the hell would make security drones out of meat? I mean, I'm an obligate carnivore, very clearly. Ah! Keep calm and carry on. It's not a very good drone defense system, I gotta say. Rather than backtracking and finding a save point to get my mass back, let's just keep going and eat some people, shall we? Oh, but that still doesn't help me. Oh, there's... Mmm. I didn't notice the second laser. Yeah, okay. That's not ideal. Can I squeeze in here? No. We can squeeze in here. Oh, it's computer noises. That's what I'm hearing. Watch there be divers down here. Alright, let's take a look. Ah, yes, this must be the derelict. Which one am I? I'm the last one. Oh! Uh, I had a few things to... other shoutouts here. Uh, both Derek Floyd and Ronan Drake inform me that the word antediluvian means before the flood. Which is an oddly specific thing, but they are very specifically referring to the Great Flood. You know, Noah's Ark? And to know, of course, whether or not that actually happened is a matter for debate. But the point is that if it did happen, it uh, happened at a specific time in history. Which means, you know, I don't know, maybe this game takes place 2,000 years from now, so the numbers are way off. But, right now, to say that a patch of moss is antediluvian would mean to say that it's about 3,000 years old. So whatever that derelict is, it's been there for a very, very, very long time. Don't try harder, do harder, says my lozenge driver. Oh, I wanted to jump, but you can't jump like this, apparently. You make a joke, and oh, my shoes are ruined! Huh. More fossils. Yeah, that's the other thing. The one that was just a mass of teeth and bones that might have been me? That was a fucking fossil. That doesn't happen overnight. Oh, right, I can't go through these platforms as a human just by pressing down. What's that? That looks like a skeleton. Cause of death, massive head trauma. Oh yeah, the skull's split in half. Oh. Is that me? I just thought I was... I didn't think I had any bones, to be honest. It's not a sentence I've ever said before in my life. Are these lights theirs or ours? Have this glow thing just been going for 3k years? You know, as we go down this ladder and I realize that it takes me a moment, I kind of realize that I have been vastly underestimating the scope of this creature. Ooh, diamond. Yeah, I mean, the humans look small, but again, that means the creature at this point is like 20 feet wide. I mean, you know, 
you when you write down the size of it, any size statistic for this monster, you have to write the word varies. But you know. What are these shafts are? Escape pods or I remember that Elderon. Okay, well, fuck you guys, then. I'm gonna look down here and not miss any story stuff. Yes, I am. I, for I didn't notice the vent, I'm gonna be honest. I thought that was a foreground element. What are they seeing, then? Hey, guys, wait! Wait, is that something important? God damn it. Nope. That's just a spider web. Sup? Oh, wait, what? Get off the ladder, me. I just wanted to turn around. For a moment there, I thought I wasn't wearing a shirt, which would be weird. It won't budge. Those are the same doors in the facility. Is this ship... Is this derelict a human ship? The lever is missing a rod. Hey guys, I'm gonna do something real stupid. If I die, remember me fondly. Uh, until the monster gets you. Uh, spoiler, sorry. Dick move on my part. Okay. When it lingered on that screen for a moment, I was half expecting the creature to come exploding out of the way I had just come. Oh, you're not- you're kidding me. You don't want me to walk down there, do you? Can I move this out of the way from down here? No. Okay. Fine, let's... Go off. This is not at all standard procedure, is this? OSHA does not approve of this. Uh, other notes I have, let's see. Shout out to Roshan for, uh, commenting that the creature doesn't seem to have any skin. You know, the flesh and all that. But, uh, he wants to know whether not having any skin means that, the, you know, since it's just exposed muscle and bone, is the flesh completely numb to pain? Or is it just in a constant state of pain? Is it scraping its exposed meat over the walls and tunnels in this place? Oh god, no, please. Don't jump scare me with my own monster, that's fucked up! <laughs> I don't like that it's next to the monster. Okay. Before I do that, I'm going to go look at this, because this is this. because this pink fluid is the stuff. Yeah! Oh no, it's these bones. Calcified remains of a cyclopean entity of unknown origin. That means it only had one eye. Yeah, this pink goo here is the stuff I can leave my biomass behind in. Is this just the way back up? I assume it is, but I am about 50% convinced that I'm going to instantly die when I get up there. Or when I pick up the, uh, the lever, rather. Why did I say get up there? Because I was climbing at that time, that's why. Well, Hugh, man, let's, uh... Oh, that doesn't really work when you say it out loud. It's making, like, the, you know, Hugh as a name. Like, the most obvious name for some... Or a human pretending to be, uh... A, fuck, the most obvious name for an alien pretending to be a human is Hugh Man. Okay. Uh... Oh, you can climb faster, thank god. I'll just run up this ladder. I like this touch, by the way, because, uh, as I understand it, this is an actual safety procedure. Or if you need to go up any higher than about 20 feet on a ladder, they'll put in landings. So that, uh... Well, you know, say I'm climbing down, 
If I fuck up and slip off the ladder here, I will fall down to that platform instead of falling all the way to the bottom of the shaft and dying. Now you've done it. Hey guys, I found the thing. Uh, not literally, though. That's a different uh, franchise. Oh no, it was down here. Why did I seal that off? I didn't even notice at first. Oh! Oh, guys, wait up! That's a cocoon. That's a biomass cocoon. Yeah, no good is going to come of this. Y'all just do this and, you know, die horribly. Don't worry about me. Achievement unlocked the perfect organism. That's what the robot in the first Alien movie called the Xenomorph, a perfect organism. It's nice in here. For now. Relith. Is that what that says? Yes. Relith Science. That'll be the logo I've been seeing everywhere. No, I can't go that way. Those are pipes. Oh, I can go back this way. Aha! Lunch! I don't see how the spider is supposed to help me here. Did I hear something just now? I guess I don't need to backtrack now that I think about it, because there is another pool of goo over here. Warm, nourishing goo. Jesus, compare this thing to the size of it. I had just been looking at this thing as the thing to compare everything else's size to. But if that's a fully grown human, I'm fucking enormous already. Oh, I see what to do here. Blech. Oh no, I'm tiny. I thought it would leave the. I thought the the damaged health would stay with the one that was, you know, damaged. If I roar, it will push them away. <whistles> Spoiler warning, it isn't just the wind. No! Oh, but I wanted to pull him up. Oh! I can only get them directly beneath me. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Does this not bother you? Yoink! Nourishment. Hello there! I'm the flesh. Yes, exactly. Don't worry, we're all going to be friends now. By the way, uh, I'm going to admit it. 
I only noticed when I was going over the footage for the first session that those toenail-looking things at the top of the screen are a health bar. This is because uh, I would never happen to be looking at it when I gained or lost health, and because you lose health so quickly that I assumed that just looking at the creature and seeing how small you were getting was the visual indicator. Hi! Oh, fuck, you've drowned yourself. Uh, honestly, not a bad alternative. I have no fault with that. Oh, darn it, I'm too big again. Wait, what happens if I go back and eat my mask now? I... Actually, that's a good... That was very good timing. What have we here? Wait, I should look in the door. The red ones, I think, don't go anywhere except to a single room. Meat! I don't know what the, uh... I don't know what to say. I just totally blanked for a moment there. That was weird. I feel lonely. There isn't enough of me here. Let's solve that. Hello, me. The botanical gardens. Just as the timer goes, no less. So, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Carrion, when we press on and find out what lovely treats await us in this hospitable place. Later!